So a few people have asked for it and um, actually quite a lot of people have asked for it. Uh, I'm going to be making Scottish tablet today with uh, using a combination of recipes. One of them is Serena's Gans recipe and another one is one that I found online. So I've kind of tweaked it to be basically to my own taste. So here's what I need for all the ingredients. We have 250 millilitres of full fat milk. We have one whole tin of condensed milk, but you can use evaporated milk. We have one kilogram bag of caster sugar. And we have bar. Oh, and a uh, grease proof paper and my AirPods. This is a very, very long process. It takes quite a while to make this and it does involve a lot of singing, but I won't be doing that, don't worry. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing to go in is 125 grams of butter and just let that melt. In fact, that's bubbling, it's telling me it's a little bit too high, so I'm going to turn that down. I want this to be like a gentle heat. Right, so I just left that to melt completely and as you can see, it's not burnt. So the next thing I'm going to put in is the 250 milliliters of milk and give it a wee stir. And then the next thing I'm going to add is a whole tin of condensed milk. Whee! And get your spatula and just get all that out. And the next thing is going to go in is going to be that and it's going to be the whole bag. And give it a good stir because this is going to take a little while to get that sugar to melt. Just keep it on a low heat at this point just to let this melt really really gradually because the last thing you want is for it to burn and stick to the bottom of the pan or the sides of the pan. Now at this point you want to stir it, keep it on a really really low heat and that's basically what mine is um, and you want to stir it for about 15-20 minutes continuously until you start to see loads and loads of bubbles on top since I'm sure you'll do it a lot better than I am. Okay, so now, as you can see, it's at the boil now, so I'm going to turn that right down and let it do that sort of rolling boil for about 45 minutes. At this point, you could just grab a snack. So whilst that is doing that, I'm going to go and eat some crisps. I should mention it's good to come in every five or 10 minutes and just give that a stir. Otherwise, it might boil over and you don't want that or get burnt and you really don't want that. So at this point, the tablet's been cooking for about 10 minutes or so and it looks like that. However, I have to switch hobs because um, we had a bit of an accident, so. And um, also at this stage, probably when you've got about 15 minutes to go, get your tray ready. So I'm just using the normal baking tray with them um, greaseproof paper in it just to make sure that it doesn't stick because I used butter the last time and Although it's yummy, it's very soft. See, it's just, it's very soft and buttery. Nobody's getting any of that one, that's for me. But at this point, it's really just a waiting game to see if it's gonna work. <laughs> um, but you have to leave it for 45 minutes. You have to let it get that really dark, kind of golden brown color. And that's when you know that it's almost there. It's got to get a certain temperature as well. I can't remember what that is. I think it's about, I don't know, 130, 140 degrees or something. But you better Google on that, don't quote me on that. I just wait till it gets a certain colour, a certain sort of consistency, which I'll show you later. And then um, the fun bit happens after that. So, but at the moment we've got 30 minutes. No, we've got 31 minutes to go. You have to stay here though, don't leave the room because I just left the room to go and get a pair of scissors and it started overflowing <laughs> like lava. So do not leave the room, you have to watch it every step of the way. It's, it's that important. This is how much you all mean to me. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and babysit this until it's done and maybe have a wee dance and a wee sing while I'm waiting. As you can see that has completely changed colour, that's more of a sort of golden brown colour and that's what we'd be expecting it to look like. The consistency at this stage looks like that. So it's quite thick already. Now they say they either hand whisk it for 20 minutes or use one of these for 5 minutes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And you don't want to be nice to it, you want to really really bat it like that. Don't be like that's really good. 
So after the pour, um, that's quite thick already, that's starting to set already. So after about half an hour, maybe even an hour, leave that to set. And then as it's starting to set, you want to sort of score your squares out. And then basically once it's set, you just pop it out of the grease proof paper, cut it through completely and you're done. It's really, really good.